Welcome to part 4 of Long Time No Play Mighty Final Fight. So I am in round 4 now and I'm still using Guy. And yeah, it would have been cool if Guy would have been an, an unlockable character in Street Rage Remake, but uh, I mean they put Cody in there. Cody made a cameo appearance though, but, but anyway. Dang it, I hate that freaking guy. It gets my nerves, man. So, round four is the factory. And so, yeah, I believe this is the second to the last stage. Hey, there's Gentoo again. Still at level four experience as far as uh, experience points. Oh man, come on! All right, again, come on, man, hit him! How'd I miss that? What the heck was that? Yeah, the gameplay here is starting to really look a little bit repetitive now, but I mean, you know, it's it's still fun. Uh, uh, these hack and slash and side scrolling fighting games sometimes get monotonous, but it's just it depends on how much you like that type of game, that type of genre. It's still be pretty fun. I mean, at least you still have a variety of moves as opposed to freaking lethal weapon and renegade and target renegade. <laughs> I know we guys gonna hate me for that, but anyway. I was attacking the gameplay, we got not the music. Anyway. And by the way, we we got oh what the heck? It's not cool. We got did a uh, 8 bit stereo of Mighty Final Fight, so check it out. Alright, now I got a Chinese star. Wait, some fanboy say, oh, it's a ninja store, not a Chinese store. Get it right. Shut up, we got. Oh, there, I blocked the knife again with my fist. Yes, I can just go ahead and knock him off the elevator. Oh, come on, get off of there. Almost reminds me of the uh, elevator level in Street Your Age 2, Stage 4, the baseball stadium level. Keep on going down the elevator. Yeah, and this, I should have mentioned this, uh, this stage has an awesome track too. Okay. Uh, whoa, uh, well, I don't need that. I was gonna save it for later, but you can't. I keep on going right over here. Oh, now, now Mr. Ghetto is wearing pink now. That's supposed to be intimidating. So, I'm getting ready to fight the boss here. It's a boss battle music plays, but these wussies are not the boss. Maybe it's that guy at the bar back there. No, not really. <laughs> Ah, oh, come on. Yes, I'm at level five now. Dang, he's back to stopping again. Come on, man, get out of here. I want to fight the boss already. Now, I remember this part, and I think this boss which looks just like Sodom, offers you something to drink. I guess it is Sodom, but, or maybe not, just his twin brother or something. And so, I don't know if it was Nintendo Power or what told me to say yes, but I picked yes. You might think pick no, because it might be poison, but it's not. It really is water that refills your energy all the way, and I guess he wants you to be in tip-top shape so he can say he beats you in your prime. 
remember correctly, he fights, yeah, real similar to Sodom. But I think a little, a little differently, eventually, and yeah, he's pretty much, I guess, just as hard as Sodom. And Sodom's not too hard, but he's, he can be if you don't know the, uh, the right way to approach him. Man, dang, well, game over. I gotta continue, and this time I'm gonna go ahead and pick Mike Hager. Let's see what this guy can do. Like I said, it's been a long time, and I played this, beat this game a long time ago. I don't remember who I beat it with. Of course, Mike Hager's the wrestler type character. Well, he's slow, and I hate that, but he should have the most power out of all three of them. It's gonna be a busy life. A mayor and a wrestler at the same time. I've heard of a former wrestler being a governor, you know, Jason Ventura, but as far as being a mayor and a wrestler at the same time, that's got to be tough. I guess if you're a wrestler, you better be the face or probably won't get as many votes. Yeah, Mike Hager's okay, but so far, yeah, God's the best character to use in this game. Oh, there we go. German suplex. Alright. Let's go ahead and skip ahead to the elevator level. Oh, so his weapon is the hammer. I wonder what Cody's is. Probably the sonic boom or whatever it is. Oh, what? One hit and you lose the weapon? Come on, at least in Streets of Rage sometimes you just like get knocked down two times or something. That's kind of lame, but anyway. I guess because it's, it's kind of like one hit kills or so if they hit you one time I guess it's only fair for you to lose a weapon but anyway oh man that was a cheap shot come on oh that was even more cheap come on what was that about come on get out oh I almost had him Oh man. Ah, that's what you get for being cheap. Come on, get off of there. There we go. Alright, here we go again at the boss battle. Yeah, we know what this says. Get off of there. Look look at Mike Hatter. Right here looks like a a midget ravishing Rick Root on steroids. Yeah, it kinda does. But, and yeah, Ravishing Rick Rude, for those of you who don't know, is a former pr professional wrestler who passed away in 99, so yeah, I should just set points for reference, see if anybody got that. But anyway, oh yes, Dr. Death Drummer Suplex, points for reference. Alright, so Sodom is quick, and Hager is not, so this is going to be a little tougher than it would have been with Guy. Come on, Mike. Use your ECW skills. Oh, he just dropped his katanas? Oh, well, you can't use them. Okay, now he's... Oh, dang, now I feel like I'm playing one of the freaking samurais from Streets of Rage 3. More Streets of Rage references. Man, wh well, how the heck do you hit him now? Get him. Oh, what? What? Come on, hit him, man. What is wrong with you? There we go. Is that... Is that all he's going to do is keep going back and forth on the bottom of the screen? I thought he goes up and diagonal at you or something. Is this a glitch in the ROM or what? And... Oh, almost... There we go. Alright, and... That, oh no, don't tell me. Oh, come on, really? Seriously? Man, Capcom loves barrels. I mean, you got barrels all over this game. You got barrels in Street Fighter 2. I mean, come on. 
<laughs> What's up with that? This is like shooting fish in a barrel. Ah. Fail. Oh, speaking of fail, I almost get a perfect, and just like in Street Fighter, I always miss the last barrel. That one barrel I miss, and have to ruin the whole thing. And, well, that's the end of part four. We'll see you in part five, which is the final stage. Let's see if I can beat this game. Until then, God bless and take care.